hello traders it's Samurai Trader here welcome to this session in today's session I'm going to re be recording a short video for the general public on day trading the black gold that is CL and of course trading oil has become extremely popular and typically on any day we see between four and six hundred thousand contracts trade and uh, it's an exciting market it's very very different than say trading Forex or uh, the ES or the NQ it has its own personality and so this is also a market that you don't trade with a small account because risk management is very very important and it does take a certain amount of skill to trade this market because it can move very very quickly and there are certain times when you don't want to be in the market such as around news times uh, typically on Wednesday mornings I think the time is 10 30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time we see the oil inventory reports released the market can go quite crazy there for a few minutes so there are some certain nuances with this market that you really need to learn now I was about to record an extensive uh, members video which I am doing straight after this one which I'll be going into our strategies and setups in great deal so for my members that are watching this if you simply log on to my Google Drive you'll see the much more extended uh, training session which I'll be recording straight after I do this short video for the general public I just want to give the general public an overview of the huge potential in trading this market now very very important if you trade stocks uh, if you trade other futures contracts or even Forex you can apply the exact same strategies and techniques to any market or time frame so please if you trade the ES or if you trade stocks or any other market still watch this video I think you'll find it interesting uh, because you'll pick up some ideas I'm also only going to keep it uh, I will keep it to a maximum of around say 15 minutes so that uh, it doesn't go too long so let's get straight into it first of all if you're new to my channel uh, please uh, read the risk disclaimer the bottom line is traders when it comes to trading don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose it's all about of course gaining the right education you don't have to spend thousands of dollars to gain the right education but gain the right education and learn proper risk management etc so please uh, read the disclaimer very very important next thing is we are going to be looking at some charts in a moment uh, as I mentioned uh, I won't be going into everything I have on the on the charts you're about to see because it is uh, I'm doing a much more extensive in-depth uh, examination of the markets if you like uh, for our members but I want to give you a really good overview overview of the huge potential so click down the bottom right hand corner here you'll be able to go to full screen uh, I don't want to turn this into a big walking advertisement but if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do even better still visit my website request my uh, ebook the truth about day trading and register for my weekly video updates we'll be able to be kept up to date with some of the latest trading techniques and strategies and more importantly find out about the world's best day trading a swing trading program uh, the day traders fast track program uh, there is no upsell but go to my site get more information but that's the end of the ad so let's move on first of all I just want to quote this the path to success is to take massive determined action Tony Robbins anyone that can see uh, with average or better intelligence that develops the right discipline and is willing to put the time and effort into learning how to trade can master the art of day trading the fact is most day traders want to learn how to trade within 24 hours or within 30 days and they want to have this unreal expectation of earning a fortune within their first one or two months traders there is a skill set to learn but the great news is if someone else can do it you can do it if I can do it you can do it there are traders around the world uh, earning a fortune trading oil if they can do it you can do it but what it takes is massive action towards learning the skill set but you can learn to do it so what I want to do is just give you some tips and ideas on this market so that if you already trade oil uh, hopefully I can add to your experience or to your knowledge base uh, or if you're looking at trading oil uh, you say okay right all right well it gives me a better foundation to start from well first of all 
oil works it is uh, it's ten dollars a point or a tick if you like now with my own trading I like my stop my stop loss to be two points or ticks it depends which side of a fence you come from above or below the closest swing high or low meaning for me that the higher the time frame the larger the stop that is if I've got really big candles say if I'm trading a uh, say a 10 or a 15 range candle and if my stop loss is two ticks above that of course I can end up with maybe a stop loss of at least 120 to 150 dollars so that is really relevant if you want to lower your risk or have a smaller stop generally speaking as we're about to look at the charts here it means that you're going to have a smaller stop loss but of course with a lower time frame whether you're trading a time based chart or a range or a tick or a volume is you have more noise on your chart and that's why in a moment you'll notice that on my chart that I have both both what I call the entry chart which is on the left hand side and I have my anchor chart my higher time frame on the right and the last comment here is you may choose to use a fixed stop that is irrespective uh, if you're a day trader irrespective of the size of a candle what we're after is momentum we're after a market moving in our trend direction so you may choose just to have a fixed stop and not a floating stop and perhaps we'll look at that more on the charts now here's what I like in trading the market uh, trading uh, CL my EC which is my entry chart I like either a 350 volume uh, or a one uh, 133 or a 144 tick now this market moves fairly quickly I'll, my anchor chart my AC is 377 now if that goes too fast for you try a 377 tick as your entry chart and your anchor chart as a 987 you know, during the Globex session and we're going to duck and have a look at uh, the Globex in a moment the first chart we'll look at actually uh, I really like the 89 tick and my anchor chart is uh, 233 so if you look at my anchor chart I'm looking at the anchor chart and use the anchor chart for trend direction only and generally speaking I like to see my anchor chart around three times higher than my entry chart or my trading chart the chart that I actually execute my entries on so uh, all of these numbers you can see here for uh, for our fib fans I've used uh, fib numbers in this particular case now before we go to the charts I just want to cover something very very important that is um, floor pivots standard floor pivots uh, play a big part in support and resistance in trading oil now uh, there's also magic numbers and you'll see this on the chart where I have horizontal lines and you'll see of uh, at the zero line the, the uh, 30 cent line and the 70 cent line and you'll see price bounce around these levels support and resistance every day particularly during the New York session or the Chicago um, main trading hours so as you'll see I draw in horizontal lines at these levels and they'll uh, it's really I suppose a bit of a secret in trading oil and a lot of people are unaware of this but it's very very important you draw these levels in as it will have a very big impact on your trading uh, and before we zip off once again if you haven't subscribed please do to my channel okay so looking at the chart so what we're looking at here is uh, of course the ticket code is CL the monthly contracts roll over every month so we're looking uh, at the X contract here 89 tick bar and the little um, uh, the red dotted line here is a floor pivot and this little white line I really should have made it black with this little gray line it's really I suppose more white this is one of the levels so what I mentioned to you so this is uh, uh, at 49.70 I have a line there at 50 and at 49.30 and actually let me just um, show you this might be easier let's, start, let's just go off this for a moment just go up then we scroll up and there it is there so you'll see price will 
quite often of course you'll see price travel between pivot to pivot but you'll also see it travel between these important price levels and uh, you will we'll look at that in more detail in a moment so what we're looking at is the globex session uh, the markets in uh, Chicago closes for around about an hour they then reopen and the market restarts up so we've got much um, restarts <laughs> opens and starts trading again I should say uh, as an example we've seen 15,000 contracts trade in the last how many hours would that be that would be uh, 12 and, and I think the past four or five hours has been 15,000 which is very thin in comparison to the uh, the standard market hours however uh, it trades a lot slower and it's still some great opportunity so you get home from work in uh, in the US or Canada and you can start trading oil and uh, because it plods along at a, a nice pace it's fairly easy to get a nice limit order in rather than use a market order and that's the other thing too very important point is that usually if I haven't traded oil uh, for quite some time I've just gone back to trading the 89 tick during the globex session as I mainly trade the ES and the euro stock x50 however I'm gaining a lot more interest in oil once again uh, and on that point there's only so many markets you can trade uh, and when I trade I'm either trading the ES the euro stock x50 or oil I rarely will you see me trade multiple markets because as a day trader I need to be ready to execute my trades and, and uh, the focus is very very important you have got a nice divergent uh, trade setting up here right now uh, now with this uh, you'll notice here that we've got uh, divergence on my platinum indicator down here a nice double bottom we are at also at the low of the day we've had a fairly strong move down the last hour or so and I'm always going to refer back over here to my anchor chart what is my anchor chart telling me as well very important so let's go and have a look at some trades that I've actually marked up or some potential trades I should say okay so still looking at the 89 tick the patterns appear on all time frames so I mentioned earlier it really doesn't matter what market you're trading you the same patterns will appear because all patterns of course are driven by price action ultimately so we can see down here for my general members we've got a, a t2 but here's what I mean about this level now we're not at a pivot but here this is 5130 but notice our price action went up and touched it bounced off come down we had a t2 we've bounced up gone up and then we've had some nice divergence set up now with counter trend trading what will greatly enhance or improve your win loss ratios is if you always wait for either a, uh, a higher high and a lower low of course on your divergence on your, your uh, divergence indicator whatever you use whether it be an RSI a MACD or whatever Williams um, uh, percent R the, the big thing here is if you wait for your divergence if you are a counter trend trader it will dramatically improve your win loss ratio now what I'm looking at on my anchor chart on the over on the right here is what is the price what's price doing here and you'll see a lot of the a lot of information we provided to you by the uh, anchor chart so there are a couple of great trading opportunities there now typically I would only be scalping for five to six ticks that is uh, 50 to 60 dollars per trade as a scalper now here's my philosophy my philosophy is you can always re-enter but once again if you know how to identify and use the t20 setup we've got one right there we've got another t20 there of course generally they'll signify and here's one down here a new trend which means if you're really want to maximize your return that is then there's the time to stay in a trade or perhaps to trial your stops so let's just scroll on a little bit now what I wanted to point out right here was we've got a nice t3 here which is really a counter trend trade but on your anchor chart and I know it's a little hard for you to see there you've got the same setup here on your anchor chart which dramatically improves your win-loss ratios when you've got a t3 on both 
so moving along we then come down here uh, here is a t9 a t10 so let me just mark that up this is uh, traders another one of our standard trades that we have here natural fact you could have entered one candle earlier we can see here our long-term stochastic is fallen we've uh, rolled over so there's a, a great entry right there you've got a nice little double bottom you want to be looking for those now remembering what I'm showing you here is a session from the Globex market a couple of days ago uh, we'll go and have a look at a 144 tick chart in a moment so we can uh, see here once again my horizontal line look how price is nearly going up and see how it's offering resistance here market then falls away okay we've got a little t3 set up there and here we've got a just mark that up for a little bit of support once again your highest probability trades in most cases are going to be trading with the trend so we're going to use our EMAs to give us our trend direction now for our pure price action traders you needn't even look at these indicators down below because all the information you need is really provided here by a trigger line by a 21 34 89 and our 200 so you can see we've had a pullback we have a re-entry a pullback a re-entry you got a pullback and a re-entry here so in other words for our members you had a t2 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 here you've got some uh, divergence setting up you had an entry but that trade would have failed okay so, so even with divergence they're not always going to uh, come off now down here and this is why if you're going to take the trades you've got to take every trade down here we had um, a nice little double bottom here set up and bang this one did work now in this particular move here, you've got a good six or seven ticks there so it's quite easy to get your uh, five to six ticks in these moves on such a short term time frame now by the way 89 ticks impossible to trade uh, during uh, the um, CME hours it's the market you just couldn't keep up with it very very difficult here is another one of these little t9s or t10s you can see there now what I wanted to point out was just in talking about uh, counter trend trading or setting up and, and taking counter trends is that to qualify your counter trend trade what you want is what we call angulation you want to see price moving right away from your EMAs now here you can see price has moved up in a channel you could have taken um, uh, some counter trend traders would have tried to jump in here maybe here maybe here and it's not till up here that it actually paid off to the market exhausted now the qualifying is you want to look for angulation that is price to move right away and then the odds improve dramatically now you can also see down here and you can do this on any really good um, uh, momentum indicator finally we get a zero line cross and finally the uh, uh, you get a decent counter trend trade at that point so little long here you've got um, uh, for my students I should say members <laughs> you've got a, a t10 I call them t9s as well you got a nice little double top now this thing gets down that uh, we've got an 89b but on the, the anchor chart you've got a 34b but it ends up not being a great trade anyway it soon rolled over and my comment here traders is follow the gold okay what is and the golden line for us to be tracking is our gold EMA now I am actually long uh, on a trade from earlier let's just uh, have a quick look let's just stuck oh, actually look we'll come back to it in a moment oops no I better do it now because we uh, might get filled in a moment filled drats we just missed it <laughs> So traders, this uh, the market jumped up. Then I actually um, went long early just before I started uh, recording uh, this video, and you can actually see it then jumped right up and then uh, took me out. So I was in this trade for what was that a good 15 20 minutes, and the reason I jumped in on this one had a nice little for my members. You, you know, this is a T uh, T7, nice little double bottom here and typically we punch through this area of support 
and generally speaking you'll see you'll come back and test this continually and uh, I actually was ready to quickly pull my stop up but it went through it as you can see I easily would have got six or seven ticks but I was after five ticks there which is on ten contracts there that's uh, five hundred dollars now uh, just to qualify there with the uh, counter trend trades don't counter trend trade until you're consistently profitable with trend trading because it's easier uh, hindsight's a wonderful thing and for an example to dramatically improve my trade I would have been better off waiting and I took some heat as you can see here I took uh, a good four ticks of heat down here I had my stop two ticks below this low and it actually ticked down if I remember correctly one tick against me so while I was recording this I could have actually been stopped out but remember I mentioned that uh, I like to have my stops two ticks below so this was the low of the day over here my stop was two ticks below there and it actually ticked down one tick below the low of the day and so there would have been a lot of stops at that level which took uh, most people out I was saved but once again one of the greatest mistakes that I see traders make is adjusting their stops based upon what they believe will happen uh, my philosophy is to put your stop in at the maximum and only ever decrease your stop loss perhaps as it's moving with the trade but not to increase it based on gut feel or the market's going to come back because that is a great way to losing your capital let's quickly duck back to that chart again so what we can see here is it's just a ton of price action on this market which is what I really like now generally speaking for my members you know that I tried the 233 volume on the ES during the Globex session but uh, as mentioned uh, earlier on this recording plus to some other uh, members I was talking to the last couple of days I'm going to start to actively trade my own account on the CL during the Globex uh, hour so I just feel there's much more value there much much lower volume but uh, you know you can comfortably trade 10 lots without any real issue we can see this little um, uh, support resistance area again we've come down we went straight through it but this is one of these classic examples of that long I just took you can see we went down we punched it and we went up there and touched it again we've fallen away you've gone up you've hovered around it broken through and what I'm doing over here is this you can see here that I've got a nice t3 setting up there and look on your anchor chart you've got the same t3 so I really like it when you've got basically uh, both markets or I should say both um, time frames the higher time frame uh, the anchor chart is confirming the t3 on your lower time frame now let's go and have a quick look at the 140 tick and I know I'm running over time wise so on the right hand side I've got a 377 tick as my anchor chart and my entry chart here on the left is a 144 tick now once again the comment I've got here expect reversal bounces around these levels so notice we're right on $50 the next one is $50 and 30 cents and look at this here you can see here you've punched through but you've gone up so you actually you've got a nice uh, t3 setup right there and now I this come up the other day what's the difference uh, between a t3 and a uh, t89 uh, the only real difference is is your price gapping away from your trigger line and you don't have to have divergence natural fact a little hard for you to see you actually had divergence down here so you could really argue that was a t89 set up over a, a t3 so with the t3 the only difference is price is just gapping away from the 8 EMA what we call the trigger line now expect reverses bounces around these levels now remember earlier in the presentation I said this applies to all markets and time frames well this is something that is truly unique to this particular market about the only thing that I'm really covering now we come up uh, you've got with trend trades once again looking over what's happening on our anchor chart the anchor charts in an uptrend so we want to be taking all of our trend trades here we had a nice little pullback you've got a pullback here and finally we go up there and we touch this uh, resistance area we've also got divergence 
so when you see that happen you go up there you hit either a floor pivot or one of these support resistance areas and you get divergence if you're a counter trend trader take the trade the good trades and bang that was a really nice trade there's about 10 ticks in that particular trade we've got here a, a nice little uh, uh, t7 here to the tick you got a, a t7 with the trend with divergence thank you very much notice here you punch through it you go up there and the red line of course is the floor pivot now here on the floor pivot not only have we got a, um, a pivot bounce here that shouldn't say PC it should say PB for pivot bounce so we've got a higher high and a lower low you've got a really nice little divergence trade you come down here and remembering we're always looking over at our anchor chart you can see here you've actually got an 89 B on your entry chart but on your anchor chart what have we got we've got a 34 B so we see multiple signals firing off that is 34 B's on your anchor chart 89's on your trading chart that really enhances the opportunity for a good trade let's just scroll on a little better here note the uh, 34 EMA I've already brought that up notice the uh, support resistance once again at this level now here like floor pivots we've actually punched through but notice how it's come up here so this is a logical spot perhaps to um, have your uh, your stop or at least to be taking out a number of contracts at this and to order tight and your stops at these levels you've punched through with uh, a nice t3 look over on your anchor chart you've got a t3 set up there as well now here I've got their uh, a t7 now notice over here it's really I know this isn't quite a double top you're there within one tick remember if you're with one or two ticks I will still call them as a double top or double bottom they basically behave you know the same way so you actually have another entry point right there you could have entered now be very careful in taking these trades here you can see you had a t3 a lot of these fail at this level that is if you take a trade straight after a really good t3 particularly if it's been a double top or a double bottom or off divergence that is you're trading against a good divergence trade uh, years ago that used to be probably the the greatest uh, challenge I had as a trader was not taking these stand aside so uh, you can see here you would have got your four or five ticks out of it then it failed this one failed but here you've got a nice t10 t9 setup we then fall away and what I want to do here is just to show you this here you had a nice a t3 that was only good for uh, you would have only got a couple of ticks out of that trade but notice there's no divergence on this one this was where I mentioned uh, if you wait for your divergence trades uh, you'll do a lot better so down here I marked this up as stopped and I wasn't in this trade but the reason uh, why you would have been stopped a lot of traders would have taken this based upon a lower low a higher low here for on our divergence indicator and you would have been stopped on that one and finally this one comes off for you you would have been mighty fine on that trade then you have a nice double bottom and it takes off in the trend direction for you for a really nice trade so uh, to uh, getting back to remember I mentioned uh, two ticks so if you had have taken this short trading with the trend and traders over the long run uh, unless you're a real high probability trader stay with the trend there's a was a legitimate t2 entry here and there that ticked against you one tick the two tick rule kept you in again you'll see this time and time again where so many traders have their stop one tick above and they just get taken out on those so uh, personally what works for me is two ticks uh, we had then a, a nice uh, this trade here was uh, a t2 you had a t25 you had a t1 so you had multiple different types of trading opportunities there uh, of course 89b 89b and I'm going to wrap this up we just had a ton of trades so for the <laughs> this has gone nearly 30 minutes so traders there's some great opportunities in trading oil but I have to say it's not an easy market to trade now I mentioned earlier uh, in the presentation that if you want to slow it down because the 144 tick here this chart can really move at times and uh, just jump up to a 
377 so if you go to a 377 then as on the earlier slide showed you I would have uh, an anchor chart then of 987 you'll find that will slow your chart down you'll get a lot less trades a lot easier to trade however your stops are going to be bigger because let's just say here if we're trading a 377 these candles are going to be much bigger which means to put my stop up here I need to have a larger stop so that's that's the trade-off so traders I sincerely hope you um, got something out of this now please uh, on my website I also make an offer if trading hasn't been kind to you or you're struggling uh, I offer a complimentary 20-minute Skype call traders I love day trading I love it and I love training other traders and you know we've we've got a real community I've got uh, 700 uh, odd members around the world sharing ideas and it's what I love doing so if you'd like to talk to me about my course or about your own trading perhaps trading hasn't worked for you please go to my site and you'll be able to request a Skype conference call with me there's no cost there's no upsell to coaching by the way none of that sort of rubbish it's I'm doing it just because I love doing what I do so traders thank you and I'll see you on the next recording and members watching this uh, I am going to be doing an extensive uh, recording pretty much after this one uh, which will probably go for an hour to an hour and a half we might even break it into two sessions where I'll break those trades down in greater detail for you thank you traders